tell me. I hear you. Is it you? Is it you? I hear you. So, anyone out there, um, you can text in to um, on, text in via YouTube or on uh, Google Plus, or uh, you can write into info at hearinggod.tv. Um, you can do that any old time during the week as you please. And uh, I basically I'll post that stuff at uh, www.hearinggod.proboards.com, which is our forum. And uh, you know, I have a section in there for prayer requests, and you can go there, post your prayer request there, and you know, or I'll post it from here, and people will pray for you all week long. So um, this is just the time where we join in and uh, uh, pray all as a group together. So, praise you, Jesus. Um, precious jewels on the on the forum. Um, she had written back regarding a, a dream from like a month ago and and uh, she just she's she came back finally she said it's been a month and she's trusting God for favor that everything will work out and uh, that uh, she's looking forward to a, a praise report. Um, and uh, it, this is all like in regards to um, you know uh, her personal ministry uh, with her with her son and perhaps a, a friend of the son. So we, Lord God, we just continue to just uh, thank you, Lord Jesus, for um, for family is the foundation. Of what everything you show us, and so I just, um, I just ask that you would just continue to bless her and her family, that she would uh, show her all things, as she uh, glues the family together with you. I thank you for open communication, that uh, her her son uh, won't feel that he he can't come to her when he really needs her, Lord Jesus, that he would have that assurance. In all things, I appreciate your patience with me. There are so many screen screens to filter through, and I appreciate your patience. <laughs> and if I open up stuff it okay now I'm seeing some uh, posts here uh, prayer request from knock to open on Google Plus um, yeah I'll have to go back over there and look it up <laughs> uh, which I might have to refresh that page because I don't see anything going on with that page either so it's just a lot of things to cycle through here. Okay, Bill. Um, it's it's pretty cool because I think one of the things I was praying for was um was for fellowship for her and so she's you know going to another church or whatever that's awesome Lord I just thank you in this in this relationship you order all things out you order it all out Lord God I thank you, Lord God, that you are healing hearts. We bind up any offense, any offense 
whatsoever. In the mighty name of Jesus, we, we just bind up a fence. We command it to go to your footstool for judgment, Jesus. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for acceptance and for joy and for peace. I thank you, Lord God, uh, what your agape love is, is an all-encompassing acceptance. Um, I thank you, Lord God, and I just pray this blessing over over uh over Bill and Bonnie, uh, for that all-encompassing acceptance. I just thank you, Lord God. Um, thank you, Lord God. 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 Thank you, Okay, trying to go back between all my screens here. <laughs> um, yeah, and I posted, um, I had a weird turn of events. I, I thought I wasn't going to be able to even do the broadcast this week um, because my husband wanted to, he wanted to plan a trip that was like hours away for today, a uh, family thing. And so I was like, oh gosh, you know, I have to stay home, or could I have somebody else do the broadcast, or, or what? Well, it turned out he ended up canceling it. Um, you know, the weather's just kind of bitter and stuff. Um, but anyhow, um, earlier in the week, because I'm like, I have this burden of things I need to do. And so I was like, well, it's like I have this few hour long trips in the car for work and it's like I don't I can't do anything in the car and when I'm at home I'm doing all the stuff and, and or I'm running errands and there's just no time to sit down and so I just wanted to simply read from that a more excellent way book they had a section on bitterness and forgiveness and I have told people about it. I told a lover of truth about it a long time ago, and I hadn't got to it. And then I told someone else about it, and I said, I, I have it on my list of things to do. And when I was in the car, I was like, okay, I'm going to get my phone out and just record myself reading it there. Um, and then I can throw it together when I get home. And I thought I was going to end up throwing it together for a pre-recorded broadcast. And... Anyhow, I ended up putting it together yesterday, and then uh, there's a copyright thing because I have a song in there, and so not all countries can see it, although I'm contesting the copyright usage thing because it's not, um, it's not exploiting the music itself. It's used like in a teaching kind of fashion. But uh, I told some people I was going to post, I was going to play it um, during the show here today. Um, so that they could see it for the ones that are in another country that couldn't see it. So, but anyhow, I want to share that with people because um, that's um, it's. I, I'm serious that that heart of the matter song. If you look at the lyrics, go ahead and look it up. Um, it's pretty wow. Um, when you when you look at it. Um, And like I said, I, I hear it like all the time playing in my head. And I know when, when I hear that, it's like that's a now word. <laughs> the, Lord is, the Lord's given me this stuff um, because there's hurting people out there. There's people that need to hear it. And so he's having me uh, share it. So um, I just had to multiply that. Let me try and read some of the uh, stuff real quick um, that people are posting. Hmm. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, Liz is talking about how a friend just kind of like flipped on her <laughs> and just flipped out and that's that's what the enemy is all about he's um his big you know when two 
or more are gathered in the Lord, things can manifest. If you get two or more Satanists manifesting something, you know, um, things can manifest where you have people in agreement. And so, um, a Satan's big thing is to break covenant. Um, you know, get us, get people sidetracked and derailed and, you know, and, and God's opinion on the matter is, is, okay, we need black or white, there's no gray in the middle, so, um, the whole, the whole, the whole world is in this big valley of decision right now, so, um, yeah, and it's it's something it just it just takes a lot of um, you know I I tell people about you know if you get a piece of paper out and you write down all the wrongs all the wrongs that people have done to you and then you pray about it just just seeing it before you um, Henry Wright in his book he talked about that high octane ping or when you hear Aunt Sally's name. Um, you know, uh, it's like just hearing the name and you immediately get this picture of the awful things that somebody did or whatever. Um, it's that sort of thing that you kind of work out the, the forgiveness thing. Um, and and more, most of it, you know, it's you confessing it, but and, and that's the very important thing. But what God wants is for you to work it out to where... Um, you don't have those spiritual vices anymore. And so, yes, you can say you forgave them, but then the rest relies on you to work it out and to, um, you know, really um, purify yourself, really. And and that's that's the whole thing. I always tell everybody, you know, think of the the eternal perspective. It's like, we go through so much stuff and everything here because we know in the word, you know, God tells us all the good things, all the good fruits and, and everything. And then over here, he shows all the bad things and the things you shouldn't do and whatever. And so it's like we need to purify into all the good things so that when, when heaven comes, uh, we won't feel out of place <laughs> we will fit right in um, so it's all it's all good so um, yeah I, I just really wanted to share that um, with some of you and you know there's always at least one person that's you know you have on your list for a really long time and you know or you think oh uh, you know it, the description of hatred really spoke to me because it's like, you know, I don't even want you in the same room with me. And you think of like how many times that person was somewhere and you decided not to go. You know, oh, I'm not going to go to that party or I'm not going to go there because you would have went otherwise, but because that person is there, you refuse to go, you know very guilty of that <laughs> very guilty and so um, you know it's it's some good stuff and and nobody wants to talk about sin and and admitting all the the dirty little things but you know uh, as Derek Prince says it'll it only hurt for a little while <laughs> it only hurt your pride for a little while right um, but you'll get over it. You'll get over it. So, um, all right. Let's let's get to some some prayer request stuff. And if you have any prayers, uh, you can text them in or uh, info at hearinggod.tv. Um, okay. Um, and Liz, you said you had been sick. Um, You've been feeling really sick, so um, I hope you're getting over that. What was it? Um, like the flu or something? Okay. 
Because they can't put out the code. All right. Well, Liz, we're going to pray for you, <laughs> for your health. Anybody else, as always, um, you know, when we're praying for people, um, if you identify with something and you say, oh, I want that, or if we pray for a gifting and you're like, oh, I want that, or, or whatever, um, everything's attributed by what you pull on. If, you know, we're, we're supposed to earnestly desire the greater gifts. Well, it goes with other things, too. So if you want something and you have that desire, you just align with it. Say, yes, I, I take that for myself, too, Lord Jesus. And so then it, uh, it applies to you. So anyone uh, dealing with any uh, sickness, any uh, spirit, spiritual battles of infirmity, we just speak to the immune system of everyone out there. We speak to strength. We de declare body, uh, you shall not fight against yourself. You will produce those white blood cells that will go out and go after anything that's bad in the system and not fight against itself and go after anything good. We speak life into our bodies. We speak abundant life. Your resurrection life, Jesus. We speak health, complete health and restoration to our physical bodies. Go before us, Lord Jesus. We, we just invite your angels in to come and sanitize our houses. Come and sanitize our houses of, of anything and give us wisdom on, on how to uh, do the best we can with cleaning up after ourselves so that we can minimize any, any of these bugs, that the kid, whether the kids bring them home or the pets drag them in or, or wherever they come from. We, we just declare your victory over our physical bodies, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. And thank you for that peace that comes. That peace that comes with it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I was feeling a little bit of an anointing going out for that. <laughs> it just seems like such a simple prayer, but I mean, he is he is totally here. I'm just, uh, you know, even in the little things, it's awesome. And I, and I want to say, I, had, um, I have a friend that uh, prays over me every so often. Um, they say, you know, you're always praying and pouring out to others. Um, but you need filled up too. And so they just spend the time and just pray and bless over me and fill me up. And it's just so awesome. And, um, uh, and that's, that's kind of their calling. That's kind of one of the things the Lord impresses upon them. They're not um, somebody out showboating or, or doing anything. It's a simple kind of quiet thing that the Lord has them do. Um, do they really get any credit for it? Well, I'm giving, giving them some credit right now. Um, thank you, Jesus. But that in itself is such a testimony. Um, I encourage you. Um, and, and I like to, um, uh, I always like to encourage people, uh, if, you, if you've never really explored what your spiritual giftings are, to go for it. Um, there is um, a spiritual giftings test. I told I've told some people about it already. Um, uh, let me type it in here on. Okay. All right. I'm going to post it. It's called Wagner Modified House. It's a really good um, spiritual giftings test, and there is. Um, if if you go on on the internet, I think it's one of the first things that pops up. It's uh, by a ministry called Gifted to Serve, and it's a test you can take over the internet. And 
I can tell you that you're not going to learn anything new. Um, it's going to be stuff you know deep down inside but maybe are running away from or, or you know you identify with but you're like, I don't know how to apply this in my life or whatever. Well, I just testify, you know, I take this test every so many years and it does change a little bit. Um, but when I first you know, I'd, I'd taken it one year and I waited a couple years, I took it again. That's after my spiritual eyes were really open and gifting started flooding my life. And the Lord was having me step out and do uncomfortable things. And so I really had, it was like a, a leap of faith. And so after I took the spiritual giftings test and I noticed those things that I knew deep down inside, then a confidence welled up in me. And see, one of the things that the Lord has always had me do is he, he'll bring me alongside of prophets or alongside of, of people of influence or whatever, give, give them a word or have a dream or something and share with them. And it's very impacting. And it's like, you know, whatever. And, and, and in that season where I had to step out of the boat and kind of, say yes and do this and I was very timid at the time uh, I knew the people that were around me in the fellowship I was in would be very jealous and would attack me and everything and so it was very comforting to know oh this is my gifting and, and to be firm and just to do it because half of half of the battle is is oh is the Lord really speaking to me you know, because you got the enemy saying, oh, you can't hear God, you can't hear God, uh, you know, and then it's like the other thing is fear. Fear wants to have that fear of man, so I won't step out, so I won't deliver the word, so I won't, you know, whatever. And so I had a lot of obstacle to overcome, but like as, as I said, knowing what that writing on the wall was and taking the test, that gave me just that ounce of confidence I needed to step out and so I just want to share that with you guys um, Wagner modified house online gifted to serve whatever that ministry is um, it's free and then you can print it out and then pay attention you know pray pray seek the Lord and then um, just watch you'll say Lord okay I see this I kind of feel it in my heart now use me. And I hope you mean it when you say it because he will. And if if you are not ready to abandon all, uh, it might break your heart because you're really putting yourself in a position because it's just like the talents. You say use me, you better mean it, okay? Or else you'll be burying your talents in the in the ground and you don't want to do that. And in this hour, I hope, you know, you're you're seeing the the asteroid in the sky, uh, you're seeing, um, you know, the, the people Obama's putting in his cabinet that are kind of <laughs> bad news. Uh, there, there's so much going on, and, and it's, it's going to be happening so quick, people. So if now's the time, don't let fear uh, get any grip on you. You, you just have to trust. You have to just trust him. So, Okay, Liz is posting the, the link that building buildingchurch.net or whatever it is. Um, thank you for doing that, Liz. Alright, so I kind of went off on a bunny trail. <laughs> but I praise you, Jesus. I know, I know he's speaking to people because when I'm praying, I'm feeling the anointing churn. Um, so praise God. Liz says, my mom had two dreams, one before the Pope announcement and one before the asteroid, right the night before each event. Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, everything is just going on right now. Um, you know, and I, I, I was on the internet uh, this week, and you know, when I was 
doing this thing about the bitterness, bitterness versus forgiveness, um, I want to share with you, um, I found a discussion on the internet where people were talking about, well, you know, about the correlation of all these end time events in, in the book of Revelation. You know, in Revelations 12, we had all the, the stars uh, moving this past, um, this past year that kind of matched what was going on in, in Revelation 12. And, you know, we know it's, it's, there's a lot of veiled uh, symbolism and things in there, but what if, what if these things are, are spiritual things that are going on in the heavens um, but the discussion was, was about, you know, there's a star called Wormwood. What's Wormwood? Bitter. Bitterness. What if these things that are talked about in Revelations, maybe they, they are, you know, physical events, but what if they are spiritual events? What if there is something coming down? What if this this thing called wormwood is actually something that that uh, turns everyone bitter. If you have that root of bitterness in you and it springs up, you know, um, it was kind of an interesting thing uh, because you know, like the Pope thing, the lightning crashed the the tower, and uh, you know, Satan is falling like lightning. You know, it's it's just kind of an interesting thing to think about. Um, so I'll leave that with you. Um, yeah. All right. Let me get back to some. Okay, you sent me an email. Okay. I didn't have it open on my computer, so I will check um, on here. Ah, all right, my sister Amor, <laughs> you would like a prayer for remembering your dreams, and that's funny because somebody else just said, you know, I have all these dreams and it's hard to remember them all, and you're, you're learning about dream interpretation from John Paul Jackson. Um, just remembering the dreams is the issue. All right. Thank you, Jesus. We all come to you, Lord God, and I thank and praise you that you promise that uh, in, in your last days that the, the young will dream dreams, or the, young, the youth will see visions, and the older will dream dreams. I thank and praise you, Lord God, that uh, you show us these things for a reason. You speak to us, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. I just speak forth retention and clarity. For everything that you speak to us, Almighty God, where they be, they be visions or dreams, I speak your hand of protection to guard over us, to guard over our minds, our souls, our hearts, that your angels would escort any communication that you have for us, Lord Jesus, that we would have great retention, that we would, we would have time to write things down or to be able to hold on to it long enough to, to get to a point where we can uh, document it. I declare that nothing that, nothing that you uh, share with us, Lord Jesus, is lost. I also pray for eyes and ears to be open in the mighty name of Jesus. You say, if we ask, 
that we shall receive, that you give us good things, that you give us bread and fish and not scorpions or snakes or spiders or whatever. We just call forth, Lord God, you're ministering angels to minister to us, to open up uh, all avenues to you, to hear your voice. We also uh, implore uh, the gift of discernment we receive your giftings, Lord Jesus. We receive all that you have for us, Jesus. We just ask, Lord God, that you would just fill us up and that you would show us where you would have us, our placement, and we would not bury our talents but that we would help the body of Christ with everything that you give us. So that we do not lose them. So that we do not lose even that which we have. I praise you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. Praise you, Jesus. Alright, I'm checking out uh, Bill's dream stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yep. The Lord can give us that assurance. So when we when we are when we are given uh, that, it, it's sometimes it's a test. You know, will we look in in the natural and despair and look around us and give up, or will we press on? <laughs> Will we run the race? Will we speak against all odds? And I can't tell you how many uh, very encouraging testimonies I've heard. Um, crazy things where people are, you know, in really bad condition in the hospital. And, uh, and they just keep confessing God's truth, God's word, under the most horrible of situations. And then finally the healing comes, and it's just miraculous beyond belief. Um, but they just kept pressing in and believing. So, and Jim knows about that. He's on the the thirty day challenge. <laughs> I've got on my website. If you go under the site map on HearingGod.tv, a page called "I Am in Jesus." And there's a little section at the top of scriptures that are paraphrased into just based statements. That's, you know, the scriptures there, you can look those up too, but just based statements of who God says you are and who you're supposed to know you are and just, you know, all those things that are really uh, uplifting. And this is very good. Um, I like to really encourage people who had, you know, are down on themselves, um, or depression, or low self-esteem, insecurities, um, because we really need to believe uh, and trust. And you know, there are some people that have had bad relationships with fathers, and so it's really hard to connect with Father God and to believe those things. But that's what we have to do: is we just have to train. Um, train ourselves and just believe it and believe it um, because that's what it is the word the word opens up uh, our understanding so okay I gotta check the uh, the comments awesome Mm-hmm. 
Yes, I do have uh, salt and light. I do have your your prayer. Um, I had uh, kind of made a little short and sweet about uh, your. You've been enduring lies, character assassination, bullying, and uh, you know you resigned your job. Um, the stress of it all affecting your health. Um, and this Thursday, you're having a tribunal. Um, and, and the biggest thing is, you know, the character assassination because it is known, although you're not in, in their face, but that you're a Christian, you know, you're not ashamed. And so for these lies and the character assassination and just horrible things to drag you down, I mean, it's true. We do, we do not need... You know, if, if it's just us or whatever, um, you know, G Jesus stood there and, and, and took a whole bunch of, of awful and did, you know, he was quiet. He took it. So, um, and in this, um, you know, there, there might be some taking it there, but we know in the end that he is the judge, he's the just judge, the honorable judge. Um, he knows who's, who are his. And we uphold that through this experience, that God will be glorified. I know Lord Jesus, and she doesn't care if it would just be for herself that it would be ruined. Because she loves you and she trusts you and she she her heart is yours, Lord Jesus. But she is looking at you and she wants you to be upheld. She wants that her witness in you is honorable and and will not suffer anything. So Lord God, we just speak exposure during this meeting. We declare the enemy is exposed in this name, this meeting in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall have nowhere to hide. You are dealing with a child of the Most High God, and I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. I thank and praise you that you are honored. You are honored, and that your chosen is favored. I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus, and we just cover her in your protection and your love. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, for her thick skin. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that all these insults and every arrow, every word spoken against her falls void and powerless to the ground, that no arrow shall lodge into her. We cut it off in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you exalt her in her humility. I ask, Lord Jesus, that you would give her every word to speak. Every word to speak. That it would be your uh, truth and with all of your love. Lord Jesus, I just ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just fill her uh, with your comforter, that you would apply your balm over every wound. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are doing a mighty work within uh, her soul in, in this path of healing. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, all right, let me check. All right, let me check my other. Okay. Yes, um, Bill, and, and talking about the despair thing, um, yeah, um, you know, that's where the Bible promise series is really handy. 
<laughs> you know, I, I have a, a one of the Bible promises in, in, in my office in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, um, just anything that you are experiencing or feeling, especially when it really wrecks with your emotions because we can't be led by the emotions. Um, the enemy likes to, you know, do that puppeteering with the strings. Um, so you really need to um, take the opposite of what the attack is and feast on that word and use it as your double-edged sword. And we're with you. I, I know it's rough. Um, you know, we got to keep going until he comes back. So, um, in the meantime, we're just uh, purifying and purifying, and less despair will come in less and less because we'll recognize it for what it was immediately. We'll, we'll get sharper and sharper, and and see more into the spirit of what's what the enemy's tactics are. And so, Amen. And we'll stand with you on that. And this, um, this person that uh, you had, this, you know, they just kind of flipped on you. Um, yes, Lord Jesus. We know that the enemy uh, desires to sift everyone as we. Uh, his favorite weapon. His favorite weapon are warm, fleshly bodies. Uh, when they go out of a man, they go in dry and waterless places. And what do they want? They want to get back into a 90, what are we, a 98% water-filled body, you know, uh, so that he can use um, us against each other. So, Lord God, we just pray for this one. We just speak your blessing upon her. That you would just bless her. We just ask, Lord Jesus, that, that you would give her individually the conviction to be able to realize uh, whether, whether she just doesn't agree with friendship anymore, but to know but to know um, where she's crossed that line and went too far in hurting Liz. Uh, we just ask that you would just show her that. And, and we just back up and we just let it be all her decision on whatever she chooses because she has to choose you uh, and, and everything you are and good fruit for herself. And we can't impose that on her and, and we won't rail her for for the enemy uh, attacking her either. So, Lord God, we just ask that you would just bless her and help Liz to, to uh, forgive 70 times 7 <laughs> and, and to be a soft spot and, and a good witness for your kingdom. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Looks like my cam twist died again. <laughs> oh, what fun! So, awesome stuff. Alright. Just praise you and I thank you, Jesus, for all that you are. Alright. Let's get back to some more prayer. Alright. Alright. Um, I just want to say a quick a quick prayer. Um, I've gotten some you know, I've been I've been hearing stuff lately. You know, people that uh, their eyes are being opened. You know, regarding being in cults and such, and uh, kind of have a testimony. Um, one person that contacted me, um, you know, is their eyes kind of open. They realize they're in a cult, and they have a lot of hurt, um, and they they were able to see uh, how the enemy just wanted to use a little bit of that bitterness pill, and so um, they're just really able to stand back and and uh, 
the Lord has already uh, used them to plant good seeds, seeds and talking with a sister that's still back in the cult. And that's what you really want, though. Um, you know, if, if your eyes are open, you don't want to blow it with the people that are left behind. So um, that's really awesome, um, you know, how, how quickly she's, you know, uh, being used um, to help others. So, Lord God, we just thank and praise you. And we just agree with your most Holy Spirit for exposure that the blinders come off. That your people be a holy people devoted to you. That they seek your face, Lord Jesus. As the, the world is displaying these signs and wonders in the heaven, as the disasters are happening, Lord God, that they're not clinging to an uh, institution Rebecca, or a uh, what to do pastor but they're looking to you and say what do I do Jesus Rebecca, Rebecca, that they set you up as the king over them Lord God I thank you Lord Jesus for eyes open in the mighty name of Jesus eyes open eyes open I speak exposure of the enemy in their lives. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, as you commission those out that were in cults to now begin to speak with pure hearts, full of your love, with no root of bitterness springing up to defile many. With your true agape love flowing from them, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, that you're dispatching your people, that you're dispatching them out. Send forth your laborers into the harvest to bring them in, to bring them back to you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Because we know, and I know, there are many good people that are out there in cults. Um, some people were just born and raised in it. It's all they know. Um, some people just don't have, they have a lack of the word. They're so used to feeding on the cult leader and listening to everything that they say. So we just declare uh, the blinders off. Amen. It's exciting times. Okay, let me check some more stuff. Let's praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Okay, let me get back to these other prayers on the forum. Okay, and we'll just continue to pray for lover of truth um, as he goes on his journey of deliverance. He has a prayer request for clarity and soundness of, of mind. Uh, he asked for discernment. We were praying for spiritual discernment. Check that off your list. <laughs> Wisdom and revelation as to not only what's going on with me, but what is the will of God is. Well, spiritual gifting tests. Check that off. Um, still fighting. Um, he is not the author of confusion but of peace I just thank and praise you Lord God I thank and praise you Lord God that you you go before Daniel and that you order order his steps I thank you Lord God for his deep, deep love for you. I thank you for restoration of relationships, restoration in his family. Thank you, Lord God, for the healing of hearts. I just speak your blessing over him, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God that your ways are higher than our ways and that you are indeed ordering this out 
ordering out one step at a time one stronghold at a time getting axed out I thank you Jesus I thank you for that praise you Jesus alright um, okay ginger uh, had a, a little bit of a scare this week. Um, she wrote while uh, her husband was actually on the way to the hospital thinking it could be a p possible heart attack, which it was not. Um, praise God. Um, and, and the thing was, is the doctors said that there were issues. And they went out to get the tests and stuff, and they just continued to lay hands and were praying. And then uh, when the and then the doctor came in, and it was actually a diagnosis of pleurisy, which is an inflammation of the lining of the lungs and the chest area, so it can lead to really sharp chest pain. So, and she was talking about an admission that it could be because he has a lot of job stress, um, feeling that there could be a connection there. Um, so. Rebecca possibly could be a job change. Um, so we just continue to pray. Excuse me. Am I going through deliverance here? <laughs> Not used to talking so much. <coughs> Woo! Okay. We just pray for Ginger's husband. We speak to his lungs. We speak to those lungs in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak Jesus. Jesus over those lungs. We speak your perfect healing. We speak release. We speak release. We bind up anything that would uh, try to hinder this. We speak uh, free breathing. We speak to that lining. No irritation, no inflammation, no swelling. I thank you, Lord God, that it's your peace that uh, flows over him. Lord Jesus, we just thank you and praise you as he is, is seeking, if it's, a, if it's a new job thing or whatever it is, I thank you, Lord God. We just ask that you would send forth your angels to go before him and but it basically in these days off that he has a recovery. Indeed, we declare stress relief, no stress. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you would just remind him of the eternal focus of what it's all about. Hmm. I just um he's saying order it out. And some of this is um a planning thing. Um I don't know what kind of stuff your husband does. Um tell you what, uh I, I'm a notes person. I got lots of little notes and things. Um but I'm feeling like the Lord is saying, you know, that's a good little stress stress reducer is you know s setting some goals and if you can see everything that's out and then knock each one off um, that can help tied in with um, you know like Bible promise series of trust of faith of peace um, you know the opposite things of stress um, contentment so um, ordering things out that's kind of what the Lord's saying so that's um, something that I, I want to share with you that I, I heard that very clearly okay so alright um, 
Okay. Um, okay, we'd like to pray, pray for Celine. And her mother and grandmother both have heart issues. And she says, we're in uh, central U.S. and her family is in lower Mexico. So it's not a cheap trip. Uh, the family's already struggling. And, you know, you know with the medical stuff how that can be. It's like you get down there, everything's okay, you just leave, and then stuff goes bad again. And so it's kind of like, you know, what to do, what to do. So we just want to pray. <coughs> Man. <coughs> There we go. Lord God, first of all, we just pray peace over Celine. We just uh, place Celine uh, in your arms, Lord Jesus. We just send. We just ask that you would just send forth your exhorting angels to just comfort her and let her know uh, that that everything is in in your hands lord jesus memba ba shukine ba ka ba ka ba ka ra ba kure se ba ra to kana ba ka meme ne nana ma ko ni ba na tere ba ka and uh this is a friend of Celine that gave this uh prayer request but i would just like to encourage you to give Celine kind of a you know that visualization of just placing those family members on the altar and just giving them to God and you know giving him that yoke that burden oh how he loves how he loves I just feel that that love, that kind of a that tight bond with this family, kind of a little taste of his his heart in that. So, I I can feel that that's really hard for her. So, we'll also pray <clears throat> since they they have heart conditions. We have some other people um, that have heart conditions that we know of. Brabaka, anyone with a heart condition. We're going to pray right now. Lord God, we just pray for each one of these people's hearts. We just ask, Lord Jesus, that you would just send forth your ministering and healing angels to go out. We implore Lord Jesus that you would just reach reach out from your storehouse and put in some new hearts. We also speak to any of the arteries and blood vessels and anything surrounding those parts. We speak life. We speak your life, Jesus. But you can proper functioning, proper um, firing of uh, proper contractions. We just ask that you would touch those spots in the heart where the issues are. Lord Jesus. Thank you for your touch, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> okay, hey Andy, what's up? Hmm. Yep. All right, let me get back here to my prayer stuffs. Um, David. Uh, uh, had eye surgery involving some of the muscles around the eyes. Um, so let's just pray and agree for a complete healing and restoration. 
Breher and the Robo Peneba Carabacabas on Barab Labashi, Tikian, Hona, Niaman and Robo Peneba. We speak strength to those muscles, Beshukine Pacoi, Bamia Tunaba. We declare no scar tissue, no no hard lumps or anything forming from the connections. We thank you, Lord Jesus. It be smooth. Let it be a smooth transition. I thank you, Lord Jesus. We just jump start the uh, the shoot uh, the connection there. But, but, but that everything that the the muscles will communicate with the rest of the body, so that everything in the eye area, whether it be the the top of the eyelids to inside the eyes to any of the connective tissue, that everything is ordered according to your perfect will, Lord Jesus. Pour your refreshing over him. Pour your refreshing over him, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Andy, for correcting me on the... I said Jacaterina last last week, but it's one of those ones where they, they pronounce it with the Y. Jacaterina. Jacaterina. <laughs> okay. She now wants the gift of tongues. That's really awesome. Still my number one videos. I have a feeling that it's never going to stop being my number one videos. <laughs> I thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. I thank and praise you for the gift of tongues. I thank you, Lord God, that that burden is upon you, Katerina. Uh, to desire earnestly greater gifts. I thank you, Lord Jesus. May that kikaneak and a hanonab speak release to her tongue. Love Shukwa, I thank you, Lord God, as you bubble up within her. Anyone here that uh, is desiring that, you've received the, well, let's just ask, Lord God, we receive your baptism in the Holy Spirit. We seek it out. We thank and praise you, Lord Jesus. And Meba, we speak release your fire upon the lips. Bekiga, your fire upon the tongue. For it comes forth in praise and adoration to the God Most High. Thank you. Praise you, Ed Elion, the Mokin Kanaku, he came as Saka, most high God. Mimarato Terebakori, Sessian Kanarodi, Aproboko. I thank you, Lord God, Doboko. You are releasing interpretation of tongues as well. Mimi Kinkona Koda Bakano Boki Abaka. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Mamura Bakina Bokora Bakabas. Kikina Bakori Parashute Bakaraba. <clears throat> All right, and let me check. Um, Andy, you had mentioned that Anne had gotten Zachariah 14 this week. In relation to Israel. Yes. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. That's a heck of a first sentence, isn't it? That kind of says it all right there. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled. Blah, 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 blah. I don't mean disrespect to the Lord, but I'm just kind of going through it real quick. Yes. So, Lord God, we just agree with you. We agree with you, Lord God. And we pray for peace, Israel. We pray for all the leaders in Israel. Whether they receive your son at this moment or not, we thank you, Lord God, that your mighty hand 
is overshadowing them. I thank you, Lord God, that even now you're you are placing everything in in each piece that uh, your son will be received. For you are coming, you are coming on the clouds. You come with a shout. Thank you, Lord God. Your hand is mighty to save. And all the world will marvel. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Great, great, great is our God. Thank you. You are a mighty, mighty God. Oh, praise you, Jesus. Woo! Praying for Israel rocks. Baby Shuki now. All right, where am I at in my prayer stuff? I think I finished uh, everything that was on the forum, unless there was a page two. Let me go back and look. The forum, by the way, if you are just checking in, is at hearinggod.proboards.com. And you can post just about anything and join in a nice little community of fun people. <laughs> yeah, here, here recently the Lord has let me, led me to post uh, stuff regarding... Um, uh, masonry, Freemasonry, um, putting a testimonial thing on there uh, regarding a, a dearly deceased uh, friend of ours, um, and then uh, then fell in my lap. You know, I wasn't even looking for it. I was looking for something completely else, and I there in the search for some reason there was this. Uh, prayer uh, of, you know, to get rid of any tie of Freemasonry in one's life. And I'm like, well, gosh, you know, it just jumped off the page to me, so I added that on the forum as well. Um, can't help but, you know, especially when you're not looking for things, pay attention. <laughs> the Lord speaks a lot in those times. <laughs> All right, let me check. <clears throat> okay, I gotta think here. I'm gonna add another <laughs> uh, another prayer request here. This one's on YouTube, so I gotta try and cough it up here. Come on, come on now, come on, hurry up! I didn't have that browser open, so it, it wasn't ready. <coughs> it had to load. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Okay. Come on, open, open. It's not opening. You know what? If you're not going to open on the computer, I'll open it up here. Ha ha ha. I'm what you call an overcomer. Ain't nothing going to stop me. I can't believe that one opened. Oh, here. Now, now it will. Okay. Um... Okay, I have a daughter that's not at home who's trying to cause division between my son and myself. And it's really wearing down emotionally and physically. Um, because it's been going on for years. Um, hmm. How is the relationship with... Uh, a father in her life, I'm wondering. Um, but anyhow, um, you know, that stuff 
We'll, we'll always be here praying on a Saturday, so you can always uh, answer that later if you're not on the uh, if you're not in the broadcast. <clears throat> but um, we will indeed pray. Well, I, I keep praying and I keep hearing, you know, um, she needs to know that she's loved. And it's hard, you know, because somebody's... Well, you know... You, you know how, um, you know, you might have a child and somebody will say, oh, I'm the favored child or whatever. Well, it's just because you might have similar interests or, or whatever. Like, I have a grandma that um, I enjoy gardening and she loves gardening. And so I would go out with her all the time and it's just, you know, whereas my other sister, you know, was into sports and you know, Grandma couldn't really connect to that. It's not like we're trying to be favorites or whatever. It's just that there's that connection there. You have a similar interest or whatever. But, you know, and everybody's wired differently. I don't know if you've ever um, seen that book series. Oh, gosh, it just eluded me. Um, <laughs> uh, and... Uh, that uh, that love um, love itself is so powerful um, and unspoken. I guess we assume it a lot, but sometimes you just need to, you know. And we don't want to be hokey about it. We want to be real about expressing our love. And sometimes it's just like, you know, oh, I really like this about you, and, and they just need to hear it sometimes. So I'm, you know. That was kind of like a first impression with you uh, in praying there. So that's something for you to, to think about. But we will indeed bless this one. We just ask, Lord Jesus, that your, your love, your love covers a multitude. So I thank you, and I just ask for your blessings in this family. I speak restoration and understanding what the enemy would desire to do for evil, we just declare that it's turned around for your glory and your good, Lord Jesus. That every assault uh, with, a, with a spiritual root, because we know that the enemy is behind it, be completely dismantled and melted in your love, Lord Jesus. We speak your agape love over this one, Lord Jesus. Rebecca, we also speak life over to my sister, who who's this has been very hard for her emotionally. We just, with her, Lord God, we just turn this over to you. We just place it on your altar, and I just thank you, and I just ask that your healing balm would just flow down and flood over my sister. And she can walk in your perfect peace, your perfect love, and forgiveness, and even forgiveness of herself, Lord God. We cannot be punching bags, <laughs> self-punching bags, no. So I just thank you and praise you, Jesus. All right. Um... I think I gotta go. I think I do. I think I've been on here a long time. So, we'll check messages one more time. And it's time to go. So I just thank and praise you, Jesus. And I just ask, Lord God, uh, that you would just bless each and every person. That each one of us be dispatched out this week. Rebecca, to be greater witnesses for you. 
Brebeg in your mighty kingdom. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Well, God bless you all. And uh, as always, at hearinggod.proboards.com, you get a prayer request, put it on there, and um, you know people will begin to pray throughout the whole week. And you don't have to wait for just Saturday, okay? So God bless you, and see you next week.